welcome to this session on evolution of information management systems. Let us take a look at uh, information management architecture wherein uh, we can sort of which combines whatever we have uh, discussed till now, right? Here is an example of a holistic information management architecture which can combine data from your warehouse to the data in Hadoop data lakes. See, on the left we have structured data can be stored in a data warehouse, right? And then from the data warehouse, data can be aggregated and put up on data box in the cloud. The data box, then BI tools can create OLAP cubes for doing dimensional analysis of the data and they can also be used for creating your reports and dashboards which can be viewed not only on your desktop or laptop but on your mobile devices as well your smartphone tablets and any other mobile device right so you have your information on the go your unstructured data semi-structured data from different kind of sensors along with data from the internet of things right all of these can be brought into a hadoop data lake right and then this Hadoop data lake can be hosted on the cloud. The data in the Hadoop data lake can be enriched with data in the data warehouse, right? And we have a holistic view of the data that an organization needs for uh, its uh, analytics purposes. The data, Hadoop data on the cloud can be used for your data science activities, creating predictive analytics models, prescriptive analytics and prognostic analytics models, right? They can be used for creating data visualization applications using the data visualization tools that we had discussed earlier. And they can also be used for creating your artificial intelligence applications, right? So, this would be a typical architecture where organizations can make use of their traditional data warehousing solutions along with the more modern data lakes to create a holistic picture of their business processes. Next, we look at some of the applications of data science, right? The financial domain risk analytics is one of the areas that uh, use a lot of data science and predictive analytics modeling, right? The risks of providing loans and services to certain customers. What is the probability of the risk? What is the probability of being able to recover the money that has been loaned out? These sort of analytics are done using our data science uh, rules. Also, algorithmic trading is another area which has uh, is coming up and uses your analytics and predictive analytics models to a large extent. Fraud detection or fraudulent transactions, identification of the same and to be able to control fraudulent transactions before they happen, these are some of the problems that the financial domain or financial industry is looking to solve using the data science principles. In the retail industry, of course, we have the recommender systems, customer experience, analysis of customer experience on the services and products that uh, the different organizations provide, as well as creating targeted promotions so that the promotions reach the section of customers who are most likely to buy the product or services. Telecom industry, churn is a big challenge and data science principles come in handy while trying to do churn prediction, identifying possible customers who might churn and then providing them with extra services or something so that they remain with the organization. Usage patterns of calls, network optimization, these are some of the other areas where the telecom industry is using the principles of data science and predictive analytics modeling. 
cyber security is one domain which has started using data science heavily for their intrusion detection activities as well as for protecting the valuable organizational information assets.